Uh, good afternoon, KG. Good afternoon, good afternoon, my brother. Hey, how are you, sir? Ah, good thanks, good thanks. No, man, I don't know how to refer to you anymore. Maybe let me give you a chance because a lot of things have happened since the last time we, sp the last time we spoke. Yes. So maybe let me give you a chance to just place yourself properly in terms of star sign and MMR. Okay. Yeah, uh, what uh, what uh, um, roles are you playing now in those two brands? Yeah, look, uh, first of all, thank you for the opportunity and thank you for being with us again. I think this is the third in a row, the third season since we started uh, working together. Uh, yeah, look, um, a lot has changed uh, with Starsign FC and also with MMR Sports. So I don't know which one must I start with, uh, where must we begin, where must we start? Yeah. Want to know the changes of the team, the structure, what are our plans for this season? How does MMR uh, 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 come in when you talk about star sign, such things? Yeah, no, no, I think because uh, star sign is uh, the main brand and that's what has been there from the start. Maybe let's start with star sign uh, in terms of the new structure and where you are in the in the leadership of that. Uh, yeah, no, look, um, star sign FC, um, there's a lot that has changed. I'm no more the chairman of the team. Uh, I just hear them calling me president of the team. Yeah, uh, we've got a new chairman uh, by the name of Tabelo Seve. He's a former player of the Stasign Football Club. He used to be a goalkeeper, then became a goalkeeper coach, and he was part of the management. Then he's the chairman of the team. So in terms of that, uh, it has changed. And um, as you know, I think you saw um, <clears throat> towards last season, at the end of the season, the decision of our head coach, uh, Walter Chopa, and yeah, so. But we, 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 we started the season good now. We've got a new structure of which the, the coach, uh, Coach Murat Hato, uh, he was assisting him. As you remember, he joined us from Big Five. Uh -huh. So he's, he's been assisting uh, our former coach. And now we've got someone that is helping him. In fact, he's help, the people that help him in, in the team call, it's our GM. Uh, I don't know if you, knew, but I, I think you do know him in Sia. Yes. Yeah, he's the general manager of the team. He, he also played for the team and uh -huh. he's been with the team for quite some time. So he knows the history of the team. Yeah, it was a good left back center back here. Very true, very true. Yeah. So he's, he's the one that helps uh, Coach Marata and also Coach Isaiah, who just joined us from Marumukalans. Okay, no, no. Thanks, Chairman. I think it's clear that uh, now you are the president and then the chairman's below you. Then it seems the general manager below that and then Coach Isaiah and Coach, is it Coach Marata? Coach Marata, yes. Yeah, so I think those are the five main, is it, yeah, five main uh, role players, I think. Yeah, and we also have our secretary, you know, him, Matiba. He also plays a very big role in the team. He's also a former player of the team which is now the general secretary of the team. Okay, no, yeah. thanks, Chairman. And then maybe before we go to MMR, and then in terms of when you now take it down to the divisions that are in the team, I know that the last time we spoke, you said you were establishing a development arm, which I believe is now in place. Yeah. And then are there any new changes in terms of the teams themselves? Yeah, look, we, 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 we introduced our under-19 and... 17 the past season of which our under 19 it, they were playing Polfa promotional league i think they, they did very well in the first season so we we promoted a few boys from the under 19 to the first team uh -huh. our under 17 it, it was very very slow the last season it, 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 did, it didn't do good but we are looking to improve it as we also introduce uh, development under 15, under 13, and under 11, and also ladies team. Uh -huh. So I think the, the the team is growing, the brand is growing. Uh, look, 
we, we, we get in, a lot of inquiries on a daily basis of players from different areas, a local that wants to join the team. Oh, okay. Then, so in terms of the development side, the teams that are currently there now, it's the 19, 17, and 15, 15. and 13. We're still starting, but the boys, they are, they are joining bit by bit. Oh, okay, so you have a fully established development side as yes. we speak right now. Yes. Okay, and then yes. your training field is in Westenberg, I believe. Yeah, we train in Westenberg. Uh, some of the boys stay in Westenberg, yeah. Okay, no, thanks, Chairman. And then maybe let's touch on the ladies' team. How did that come about, <laughs> the inspiration for that? And is it uh, something that you will push going forward? Because, you know, what I've seen with most ladies' teams, they come up, they disappear, they come up again. So what's uh, what was the inspiration? What, what is your vision for that? Look, let me be honest with you. Ladies' team football for, for the ladies is the future. I mean, if you check uh, as far as FIFA and uh, 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 different countries, uh, national, they are pushing for uh, for ladies' team. It will be compulsory in the future uh. when you have an ABC team. It will be compulsory to have a ladies' team. So meaning they will be investing a lot uh. in in the ladies' team. So we we just thought we should start uh, while it's still early so that we, we, we prepare ourselves very well and yes. position ourselves very well. When that time comes, then we know that we, we don't struggle. Yeah. No, no, thanks. If there's one thing I've noticed about the way Star Sign does things is it starts, you know. Yes. It starts. Whenever there's something that uh, is an opportunity, you, you know, you just start and then other things will happen from there going forward. That is true. No, no, no. That is true. Thanks, thanks, uh, Mr. President. And then in terms of um, MMR, um, I think it's clear that the, the the brand has grown. I think that was your intention even the last time when we spoke. So maybe reflect on what has happened since the last time we spoke up until now. Because the last time we spoke, you touched on a few clients that you guys are working with. I believe now it's it's a whole lot more in... Things have changed so fast that we may, even, may not even have enough time to cover what has happened. Maybe just reflect on what has happened. Yeah, look, um, yes, yes. MMR is it's, it's, it's growing. Uh, uh, it's growing, like, ridiculously so. Uh, I could say the last time we spoke and now, there's a lot that has changed. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, from where we were to where we are now. Uh, remember we started at the backyard yeah uh, when we started mmr sports so now we have moved to a bigger space which is becoming small already uh, when we moved here we everything changed the system changed um, from the workers that we had so all of them they they left the company then we had to start from the scratch yeah yeah so but i'm happy because um our our products are, are, are very much i could say quality now uh -huh. not to say that they were not quality before but we have improved so uh -huh. much uh, to, to the extent that we attract so many people from different areas uh -huh. i think we we've got um one team that we dress we're dressing in zimbabwe uh, we've got, um, I could say, an academy in, I mean, a team in uh, uh, Bumalanga, under uh, Bumalanga uh, Association, uh. that we're addressing development. And we've got a team in ABC, Mwazebe in Bumalanga, that we're addressing as MMR Sports. In, in Limbobo, so far, we've got two teams in uh, Mwazebe, uh, Nick that we are addressing and other academies that has always been there with us, your shooting stars, uh -huh. Flora Park Academy and summer training so that we can dress. We, we also dress um, as we are part of the sport. In fact, we sponsor TSL, uh, Teflop Soccer League, the league that is within the university. Uh -huh. We as MMR, we sponsor it and 
we do a lot of um, merchandise for the university so I could say the the, the, the brand is it's growing and we we will push more more and more so that it gets where we want it to get okay from hearing you speak uh, president it sounds like on the manufacturing side things have changed maybe it's the technology that you used or the tools because like you said the designs have uh, have improved and that's what has contributed to the growth maybe just speak on on how that has changed from the technology perspective oh yes we we used to do our kids soccer kids track fit manually you know when you do fabric to fabric three color two color or four color however it is so that process used to take a lot of time so when we moved to our new premises we invested into we invested in sublimation machine uh. that makes our life very simple because we we, we do our uh, concept design mock-up uh. approval of a client we start printing from printing we go to uh, the painting side from the painting side you go to production to start the cutting and take it to production so the process it's it's more quick i mean we used to take a week to make one soccer kit uh -huh. but a day we, we we are able to make three to four soccer kit a day so meaning our production is, is really improved and, and changed would you say in terms of where you are now you are always uh, chasing deadlines basically yeah look it, it's it's always hectic it's always very very hectic i mean we've got a shift that monday wednesday friday we knock off at 10. Uh -huh. so you, you can tell that the, the the production is massive okay and then in terms of the teams that you're dressing i know with the uh, ul it's something that has been there for a while is that uh, an agreement that you reached on a long-term basis or it's as and when it it happens yeah look for now i couldn't say we've got uh, some we've got a concrete contract with them but i think they are quite happy with our product so uh -huh. it's as and when and as you can already see i'm also uh, wearing uh, impala limpopo impala we are also dressing uh, limpopo impala impala uh, women's team uh -huh. of which this is the start of a good relationship with them so far so we are looking to venture in also into rugby, uh, basketball. Well, I think we are doing basketball sometime this month, uh. and, and other sporting codes. Hockey we have covered, so we need to cover all the sporting codes. We are not really focused on football only, but all the sporting codes. No thanks, Chairman. I think maybe uh, just to be practical in terms of uh, maybe let's talk price ranges. Now to just make. Uh, the information accessible yeah. so let's say i'm a guy i have a tournament team mm. and i want a kit design from you how would that how would that engagement start and end in terms of timelines and then payments and all of that look our 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 soccer kids they start from 4800 and you've got uh, ones of fee of 550 design and preparations because it takes time to prepare the, the artworks before we can start printing uh -huh. so that's what that's where we start and um it will depends if a client needs 15 uh -huh. uh, 14 plus 1 or uh, 16 plus 2 18 plus 2 or training kit of 30 players it always depends on what the clients needs yeah oh, okay no no and then in terms of the Mpumalanga teams that you're working with is that also on a contractual basis in terms of whenever they need staff for their team whether it's training kit traveling kit caps supporters kits you've got all of that responsibility with them yeah look for now we, we don't have any contract with any clients but it's just when they need yes they procure and, and that's how we work for now i know that's understandable chairman and then yeah in terms of how everything else will link up you know because uh you know everyone is watching and they're trying to figure out what uh, what is coming next so you know uh, maybe let's start with star sign the league is coming up soon i think the following weekend so what are your objectives with that because the last time we spoke you said 
no we just want to produce players stay in the league survive so are you still as humble as last time we spoke <laughs> <laughs> yeah look we're still we're still humble uh, but it will be a different league this season look we'll compete that's the honest truth uh, this season so um we have built a strong team that we believe to compete for the season and to also looking at producing uh, young boys that can go to your DC or even Mozambique. So it will be a tough season. The last time we spoke, there was a, a striker who had gone to Polokwane City. Have you managed to, you know, improve on that since? Uh, are there any new players that you managed to promote? Yeah, look, uh, the boy is still at Polokwan City DDC. This is his second season and he's doing quite good. And his, his job, I always tell him, the job as a striker is to score goals. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's how they will notice you. So we also have another player that went to Polokwan City DDC Lille. And we have one player that is at Skukune DDC Neo. Uh -huh. And we and there are two boys that that went to Makisi, yeah, uh, uh, Rashford, and the other one was with us, but went to CNG, but he said uh, uh, Makisi also, yeah, yeah. So I think we pushed and we've got three, four players that are at ABC teams that left the team. Oh, okay, and then in terms of the senior team, I saw. There are some uh, senior players that were there when the team started and seemingly you've brought them back. What was the thinking behind that? I can mention Dingani, <laughs> Manis, I think, Andy's back. So what was the thinking behind that? And Look, um, to my surprise, uh, all those players, they're the one that came to, to, to me and said, look, we want to come back and just play for the team and play for the bench and enjoy our football. So I was like, you know what? Uh, why not? Because they know the culture of the team. They understand the team and the vision and mission of the team. So why not bring them as we also need experience to compete in the league? And also the former captain Deza is back, you know. So, yeah. No, no. Thanks. Uh, and then in terms of uh, MMR, okay, start sign, I understand your, your approach. And then in terms of MMR, um, uh, how can I ask this? I know you are open to uh, producing different kits and uh, different designs, but what's your your main direction in the moment? Or is it anyone who needs anything will be assisted? Yeah, look, at the moment, um, but moving to the new year, we'll have corporate designs that we design for the full year that when people need to we'll just work on them uh -huh. unless if this is it's a special team that is playing on a higher level of football in that case we stick to what they need so that we avoid doing many designs yeah yeah so it'll be like you keep stock of yeah. a certain design yeah. and then you yes enhance it when a client requests that is true okay yeah no, no, KG, I don't know what to, to ask anymore. Maybe if, if, if you want to elaborate on any... Okay, it's a controversial issue, you know. It just came across my mind now. Without going into details, you know, I never thought I would see uh, a star sign without Coach Chopper, you know. It's just uh, something a lot of people are getting used to. I don't know if you want to speak on that or, you know, just a high yeah, level. Look, uh, look, um... Obviously, it was not easy. I mean, uh, to be honest, it was not easy. But at the end of the day, life has to go on. You understand? And um, he also had personal things that he needed to do on his side. So yeah. that's why he took a decision to step down as a head coach of the team. So, but uh, I can say the coaches that are there will also do the good job. They will make the name for themselves. I mean, so far in the preseason that we we've been the preseasons, uh -huh. um, we've won four trophies so far. So it means we've got a team that will compete, and the coaches have been working very hard to to make sure that when the league starts, the the team.
team is in a good shape. All right. Uh, thanks, KG. Um, I think we can end it here if there's no yeah. input. Thanks. No problem. All right. All right.